Well, look at this headline, $200 million of federal aid for school. And that's today. That's a headline today. Actually, maybe it was yesterday, uh, but it, it is for Virginia. That's how much they're giving out. And a lot of that money is going to go for technology in the schools and because nobody's in the schools. That means it's helped to pay for families who have kids going to school and they need Wi-Fi, they need uh, laptops and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so check your schools. You know, that's where COVID grants are going now. Uh, to pay for those kinds of things. So that's why there's stuff you just never do. You know, so don't look for uh, grant money to pay for Wi-Fi when they're going to pay for Wi-Fi for you. Now, there's other places, too, to get this kind of help, you know, for Wi-Fi. And, and I got a report, if you're a member, uh, that lists a lot of these things. But uh, actually, one of the places I, I talk about in there is something called human, H-U-M-A-N dash I dash T dot org. Human dash I dash t dot org <coughs> and I, I called them up today uh they're out in california and they help you with uh wi-fi no matter what and it's low as like ten dollars to twenty five dollars yeah. uh a month man i, I think i paid like 60 bucks or more here and i could get it cheaper you know uh so that's it they also have uh Use computers and refurbish that they sell or give away and things. These are nonprofit organizations that do this, you know, uh, and that's what you should be aware of. And actually, what's new in a lot of people, <laughs> in a lot of places in the country that don't have Wi Fi, are putting Wi Fi on buses and going out in communities and just the bus just stands there, but it's a Wi-Fi. <laughs> so you don't have to go to Starbucks or whatever to try to get the Wi-Fi. So there's all kinds of things. So there's a lot of hot spots all over that the communities are putting up or whatever. Uh, so check, you know, call your library. They're going to know about this stuff. And the research librarian will know uh, about that kind of stuff. So that's how to get free Wi-Fi. Oh, that's that report again. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, here's a, a good website. It's inmyarea.com, inmyarea.com. And it shows you resources, you know, that are, are free and cheap and low, uh, uh, low plans for a Wi-Fi, for uh, uh, cell phones, and, and, and even discounts are free computers, you know, uh, to help you for remote education. If you don't have a computer and Wi-Fi now, you're, you're really out of the COVID or you're going to be in the COVID <laughs> if that happens. Here's some of the things that come around. Internet assistance for low-income families and, and existing customers during the COVID-19. A lot of uh, carriers are, are having offers during COVID. How to get a low-income discount from the internet. Uh, qualify for life line government assistance during the COVID pandemic. A lifeline is, is a government program uh, that gets you uh, cell phones and stuff like that. Choose a low income internet provider, quality, qualify for a free computer for remote education, reach out to local organizations offering support during, you know, uh, this kind of stuff. qualify for free mobile service uh, and phones to stay connected. Now, another thing too, that this uh, organization, human dash uh, that's a dash in the middle of the, of the letter, dash uh, t.i-t.org. Uh, they have courses too. And I signed up, you're able to anywhere because they're online courses. So how to use a computer and stuff like that. So if you're new to this stuff, you know, that's a free online course. I mean, take it for free. Anybody going to tell you it's for free and they spend a lot of money doing something? <laughs> that's better than finding your 10-year-old nephew <laughs> <laughs> to help you out on this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's a lot of stuff. Internet assistance for families. I mean, they, they have special things for seniors, special things for um uh, Actually, uh, uh, veterans and a lot of deals on technology that they try to keep. Quali qualify for a free computer. There's a whole bunch of programs here. Uh, talk about free computer. Reach out for local organization. That's another thing. See, go local. A lot of nonprofits don't know about it. Your 211 may know about it. So 211.org, but call them. See what the hell they got. Uh, talking with somebody is better than maybe just uh, surfing the internet. You don't know what to put in there. They don't know what they have. They have. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how the robots are are organizing things. That's the problem. So you have to understand what the robots are doing. That's why if somebody's using that database a lot, talk to them. And they're the people on the phone. 
<laughs> they get that question a hundred times a day. So they know what's wrong already <laughs> with, with what the computer has and, and it doesn't give you what you need. Okay. Uh, look at qualify for free mobile service and phones. See how this stuff now it's going to take digging, going to take follow up. And if you're not ready to follow up and do some one on one with a uh, uh, phone or email or, or, or whatever it is, you're not going to get it all. That's what it's about. You got to use these sources to ask about other sources. If you're not playing that game, you know, that telephone tree, right? <laughs> okay. You're going to look at it. Oh, that's not for me. Boop, I have nothing. And you're going to go home empty handed.